One of the other children in our class is a little girl called Anel, and she's come from France. She only, spe she only spoke French at the beginning of the year, no English whatsoever. Because Anel had no English, she had to have some strategies to connect with the other children. She did this by gesturing. She would grab their hand, she would laugh, she would smile with them. She made a special connection with another little person who spoke no English, she spoke Korean, and they managed to get along. They would dramatic play, they would talk on the phone together. One would speak Korean and one would speak French and they would laugh. But if she wanted to do something like painting, she would come over and she would take my hand, she would speak French, and then I would go with her and she would show me what she would like to do. So with routines, we would start calling people or have a transition game and she would be about the fourth or the first, fourth or fifth person to do so and she managed it very well. But to enable her to follow the routine, what I did was I had visual cue cards. So I would have hand washing cards, so I would show her. I would show her lunch box, I'd show her chair to sit down or to get her hat and she managed that very well throughout the year. We're going to brush our, put our hats, and we're going to have a big. See, you brush your feet. Well done. Haram. Yeah, we'll all brush our feet. They could have a little bit of sand. Okay, and hats in your bags. And now Nell can write her name, she can actually write her siblings names and she can write a few of her peers names within the classroom and we've accomplished that with name cards so she has her own name card where we had her picture with her name so she could go and get her name card, copy it, trace it and it's there for reinforcement. We also have their names for sitting down for meal time so they need to recognise what their name looks like. We also play transition games with their name cards. In October, we actually started calling the role with the children's first and surnames, and Anel picked up on that, and she has learnt all the children's Christian names and surnames, and she calls them out very fluently. Now, would you like to start calling our friends to get changed, to sweep their feet, I should say? Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay, me and you. Okay. Michael. Okay. 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 Behind you. Jason, Sarah, Charlotte, Anel's special friend Brooke, who spoke Korean, now speaks English. So now she collaborates with Brooke in communicating in English. All day they speak English together. They turn take and they share everything together. They actually resolve lots of conflicts and negotiate everything together. Her parents have played a part in her learning to speak English as predominantly they speak French at home. The mum was very concerned about her not learning English at all. So we put some strategies together and we asked the mum if she could speak some English at home. So we had a plan that in the car on the way home, mum would speak English to her and that's the only time they spoke English and it seemed to work. I, I do have friends uh, who uh, haven't seen her for a while and now when they see her they say oh she's uh, improved a lot in English and she can hold a conversation. She can hold a conversation and just things like if I ask her to do something she knows exactly what I'm asking her to do. She can go and initiate games on her own, she can do her own routine, she's lovely. I've spoken to Anel's parents about the transition statement and they would love it to be forwarded on to the school as they need to be aware that Anel is a visual learner and she will need to have a teacher that is aware of that and that they will speak precisely and clearly to her. Mm -hmm.